25 bucks a foot. Yeah. Times 40? That's about a thousand bucks. Yeah, right. A real steal, says seller John Rowe. The wheels come included? Uh, for an extra price, yeah. Well, how much are the wheels? Oh, probably, probably 400 for the wheels. Well, one, two, three. <laughs> so, uh, like, say I buy this thing? Uh-huh. What am I supposed to do with it? Uh, use it for a culvert or something. A culvert or something? Yeah, or make the underground house. An underground house? Bomb shelter. Bomb shelter's not bad. Oh. Tell everybody it's a piece of rocket, a, bit, oh. a missile to go to the moon. Oh, a piece of rocket or a missile, yeah. This thing looks like something straight out of NASA. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll take any offer, huh? Oh, I'm always open for offers. I didn't say I'd take it, but... <laughs> hey, wheel and deal, huh? Yeah, wheel and deal. Not a bad piece of pipe as pipes go, I guess. Yeah, it's good pipe. Yeah. All righty. Good luck to you. Talk, talk to you later. All righty. Good, good luck. Pipe. Thanks. John Miller for NBC News. <laughs> Remind me not to move to Idaho anytime <laughs> exactly. soon. <laughs> so strange going, things going on out there. Hey, thanks for spending the hour with us. And keep it here for Dateline 29 News at 6. Tonight at 6, a Culpeper man charged with distributing child pornography is out on bond tonight. A University of Virginia fraternity is on probation tonight. And a rare mineral is the source of a multi-million dollar lawsuit in Louisa County. We'll have the details. The news starts now. This is Dateline 29 News at 6. Good evening, everyone. I'm Stacy Horse. And I'm Dave Cup. A Culpepper man accused of Internet distribution of child pornography is out on bond tonight. Jesse Charles Brent had his first court appearance today in Culpepper. Kristen Jackson is following the case for us. She's live in our Charlottesville newsroom with the details on this afternoon's hearing. Kristen, tell us what happened. Well, Stacy, Jesse Charles Brent, the man arrested just last week for 91 felony counts of distributing child pornography, was released on $20,000 bond this afternoon. The 36-year-old seen here was arrested last Wednesday after a five-month international investigation. It started last August when police in Germany discovered someone was trading child pornography pictures in an Internet chat room. Police say those transactions were then traced to Brent from Culpepper. When state and local officials arrested Brent last week, they found over 4,000 images of child pornography on his computer. Now, if Brent is convicted, he could go to prison for more than 900 years and would be forced to pay heavy fines. Now, the judge made some restrictions for Jesse Charles Brent while he was out on bond. He told Brent that he could not possess or have any contact with a computer with Internet access. He was ordered not to have any unsupervised visits with children. Brent's next court appearance will be on March 20th. Stacy. All right, Kristen Jackson, thank you. A fraternity at the University of Virginia is on probation tonight after an alleged hazing incident. Keenan Howell joins us live from Rugby Road in Charlottesville. Keenan, what's the allegation behind this? Well, Dave, second, uh, second year student here at UVA, John W. Cox, was allegedly forced to drink a fifth of rum in just 30 minutes last fall in this white fraternity house you can see down here behind me. Now, UVA considers that to be hazing. And now the Phi Delta Theta fraternity is suffering some consequences. UVA officials say an investigation by the University Judiciary Committee and the Interfraternity Council led to the split of school and fraternity. Every fraternity is held to a fraternal organization agreement, which strictly forbids hazing and binds fraternities to the university. Now that agreement has been revoked. It's an opportunity for the fraternity, I think, to really um, take a very good and clear introspective look and to make necessary changes and to grow stronger as a result. The separation between the Phi Delta Theta fraternity and UVA is not permanent. In fact, the fraternity will have a chance to redeem itself when it's reinstated into the Interfraternity Council in May of 2001. Now, Keenan, have any other fraternities suffered similar consequences in the past? Dave, they have. In fact, two fraternities have gone through a similar uh, situations as this in the past two years. However, they've since been reinstated. All right. Keenan Howell in Charlottesville. Thank you. The Virginia Department of Transportation could build four huge cellular phone towers in Albemarle County this year without permission of the Board of Supervisors. That's because of a bill that has cleared the state Senate. That bill would give VDOT the power to build towers along highways without any local permission and then rent those towers to cell phone carriers. 
VDOT had four cell towers planned for Albemarle, but officials say they don't have a timeline to build just yet. The General Assembly action really will have no impact on it since last November, VDOT has had a moratorium on eight cell phone applications, and so we've been had everything put on hold. I don't see us doing anything uh, for quite a while. The bill first has to go over to the House. VDOT placed a moratorium on tower construction in November when a state Supreme Court ruling stripped their authority to build without local permission. A multi-million dollar antitrust lawsuit starts tomorrow. It involves land in Louisa County. At the center of this case is the preservation of historic land versus placing limits on a business that's been in the county since 1976. Pedro Echeverria tells us more. There is plenty of land in Louisa. Not as important, though, is close to 1,000 acres owned by Historic Green Springs. The land was received as a donation from the W.R. Grace Company and is currently deemed as a historic area. But it's what's in the land that's at the heart of the suit. It's called vermiculite, a mineral used in several industries. Only a few places in the U.S. have large deposits of it, including Louisa. These reserves uh, in Virginia are we feel the best reserves of vermiculite in the country. And it's important for us to, to have access to it. Hence the lawsuit against historic Green Springs. BBL is asking for access to the land and millions in damages. Virginia vermiculite does not need uh, the land belonging to historic Green Springs for their mining operation. They have plenty of mineral where they are. But according to BBL, their reserves will not last forever. BBL claims their lawsuit is justified, not only because of the land in question, but because of how it was gained. I think a big part of the question that has to be asked, though, is what was the case when Grace conspired to put us out of business in 1992? We really think that the suit was brought uh, to uh, punish us for having opposed vermiculite mining through all these years here in our national landmark. In Louisa, Pedro Echeverria, Dateline 29 News. A judge decides tomorrow whether to throw out the case. We'll have the very latest tomorrow night on Dateline 29 News. Tobacco farmers in Virginia will receive $68 million by June 1st. A state commission decided today to give most of Virginia's share of the national tobacco settlement to tobacco farmers. The $68 million will help farmers recover from two years of steep quota cuts. Over the next 25 years, Virginia is expected to receive $4 billion from the national settlement. That money will be split with 80% going to farmers and the rest going toward regional community revitalization projects. Recently, Stanton firefighting crews got a chance to work on their skills without risking lives or property. As Gary Smith reports, a fire training exercise got the company ready for the real drill. The flames, the smoke, the risk play out only in the imagination of these Stanton firefighters. In an abandoned, destined to be demolished Market Street building, the environment is controlled. No emergency, no pressure, just right for a training exercise. That wall is your life. You need to stay on it, not come off of it, stay together, talk to each other. Hey, I got a table here. Hey, I got a sofa here. Hey, I got glass up here. The mock search and rescue effort underscores the department's most basic mission. We'll risk a lot to save a life. We'll risk little to save little. And we'll risk nothing to save nothing. Life safety to us is everything. And the new personnel get their hands on the tools they'll use in a real emergency. The most basic and the new equipment, like an air chisel. This is very beneficial for the morale of, of, of the troops, as you would say. This is real good to get out and you know, practice our skills, hone our skills, show off a little bit what we can do, a little bit of competition for each other, and it's a lot of fun, too. In Stanton, Gary Smith, Dateline 29 News. And the building on Market Street in Stanton will soon be torn down to make way for the construction of Shenandoah Shakespeare's new indoor theater. Uh, it felt like spring yeah, today out did. there, didn't it? It was wonderful. But the word from the Weather Center is that winter is going to be back by the end of the week. Should be interesting. Robert's got the details. That's right. The roller coaster ride continues, folks. We, we're at 70 degrees this afternoon, but we're only going to be in the 40s tomorrow. And by the Friday forecast, you probably won't like that, but don't go away. We'll be right back. Welcome, sir. It is an honor to have you here. 
You, too, will receive some very presidential treatment during your Chrysler Dealers President's Day event. Now get 0.9 financing for 60 months on any new 2000 Chrysler minivan for over 4700 in finance savings. But there's only one place you'll get presidential treatment. Get 0.9 financing for 60 months or 1500 cash allowance on any new Chrysler minivan. John McCain promised a clean campaign. Then attacked Governor Bush with misleading ads. McCain says he's the only candidate who can beat Gore on campaign finance. But news investigations reveal McCain solicits money from lobbyists with interest before his committee and pressures agencies on behalf of contributors. He attacks special interests, but the Wall Street Journal reports McCain's campaign is crawling with lobbyists. His conservative hometown paper warns it's time the rest of the nation learns about the McCain we know. Here comes another one. It has all of Volvo's legendary safety, including an ability to brake more effectively. Uh oh. In unfriendly winter conditions. Let's get out of here. The all-wheel drive cross-country from Volvo. Giant, our fresh ideas don't just happen. They're grilled with an Italian flair. They make a quick toss and send your taste buds reeling with flavor. Our fresh ideas put the mmm in morning and stem from the very heart of nature. We've got fresh ideas, great values too. A giant, my giant. Those who ponder the natural order of things might be surprised that under intrepid sleep form lies a spacious cavern, and shocked to discover that intrepid generates 200 horsepower from a mere 2.7 liters. So are Dodge engineers acting in defiance of natural law? Or do they just see things in a different light? Get 0.9% financing for 60 months or a $1,000 cash allowance on Dodge Intrepid. Tomorrow morning, get connected with the news you need. Dateline 29 News at sunrise. Windows 2000 is here, but will you, as an average homeowner, get much use from it? Hello, I'm Beth Duffy. And I'm Bill Duvall. Coming up tomorrow in our Technology Thursday report, we're going to tell you who Windows 2000 was truly designed for. Plus, we'll have weather with Norm Sprouse, and we'll have all of your sports action. Join us. Make the connection tomorrow morning. Dateline 29 News at sunrise. All good things must come to an end, and just like we saw last week, we get a couple of spring-like days, and then we get reminded that winter is not too far away. A big area of high pressure is building into the mid-Atlantic, and this will cool us down markedly tomorrow. Then, out in the west, a storm system approaching the Rockies will move across the plains Thursday, providing us with another round of winter weather on Friday. At least that's the way it's looking now. Currently, though, hard to believe we're thinking about winter when it's 70 degrees outside. Take a look, a uh, full-screen look at this. It looks like temperatures, as we reported today we're up around 70 degrees this afternoon for most of our weather watchers you'll see that in a second 28 percent humidity west winds a barometer at 29.92 daytime high today in charlottesville 70 35 for the low this morning average 48 and 30 records though were a little warmer than we got today 77 was a record back in 1989 for was the record low in 1905. For the valley, it's still in the mid 60s, 33% humidity, a west wind. The cold front, our latest in a series of cold fronts, is moving through the valley now, shifting the winds around the west. Your temperatures tonight in the valley will be going back down into the 30s easily. But again, look at the afternoon reported from our weather watchers. Orange at 69, Troy at 65, Madison at 68 degrees, Mrs. Tanner, Hope you feel better real soon because uh, your telephone voice needs a lot to be desired. Hello, this is Mrs. Tatter. Uh, anyway, 70 in Weir's Cave, 69 in Churchville. I'm sure she'll appreciate that. 54 in Wintergreen, 67 in Stanton this afternoon, 70 in Stanley. And uh, Donna uh, Harrison in Fork Union also. Hello, this is Donna in Fork Union. Oh, I'm really sick. Anyway, hope you guys get better. 67 in Louisa. I say that with love. Of course I do. Here's a cold front. As you can see, sweeping through the mid-Atlantic. It'll be windy tonight, but noticeably cooler. As this area of high pressure right here drops in on us, the winds will change out of the west to northwest. They were in the southwesterly direction all afternoon, and it looks like that will continue to cool 
cool us down. Here comes tomorrow's map. Notice the storm entering the plains. A lot of moisture going to be sucked up out of the Gulf of Mexico with this. And as this storm translates into Virginia, the high pressure that I'm telling you about now moving in tonight is still going to be over top of the New England states, providing a, a little feed of cold air down the mid-Atlantic. And when that cold air at the surface gets overridden by some warm air, it looks like that could set up an ice storm for us. This is kind of graphically what I'm talking about. And we talk about this a lot in the wintertime. It's called cold air damming, and it's cold air that comes out of the northeast. It sort of bunches up against the Blue Ridge Mountains right here. Then, later on in this scenario, as warm air overrides the cold air aloft, it creates what we really have to watch out for, and that's a wintry mix of snow, sleet, and freezing rain. And it usually happens right along through here, the valley, getting in on that action at times. So that's the scenario for Friday. Tomorrow, however, just cool and mostly clear. So you've got another fairly decent day before we have to worry about Friday's weather. 30 degrees tonight, partly cloudy, windy, and cold. For tomorrow, again, no problems, but uh, no 70-degree weather either. Mostly sunny skies for central Virginia. For the valley, same thing, a sunny start to the day, increasing clouds, daytime high about 44 degrees. Now, for the nonsense uh, on Friday, looks like it could uh, set up to be that little wintry mix of... Uh, sort of a potpourri of winter weather for us on Friday with a high of only about 34. Mm. <sighs> and then the weekend uh, remains kind of cool. So okay. It's really hard to believe, but uh, remember last weekend on Friday, it was, you know, 65 right. degrees and it snowed on Saturday. And it looks like uh, tomorrow will cool off and we may see some snow on Friday. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you. A Central Virginia woman has received quite an honor for her athletic abilities. And she's trying to help other young women strive, too. Her story when Dateline 29 News continues. Subaru Forester with yet another AAA award for the best SUV under $25,000 and the highest rating in its class in recent crash tests. The Forester isn't just easy to own, it's tough to beat. Subaru Forester, sport utility tough, car easy. It happens once a year. SK Menswear's winter clearance sale with hundreds of fine quality suits like these at two for under $200. 100% wool designer suits for less than $200. Hundreds of handsome winter sport coats for $89.97. Dress shirts from $19.95. Pure silk ties for less than $15. And winter sportswear and outerwear reduced 20 to 50%. Don't miss the winter clearance sale going on now at SK. We're America's men's store. In Charlottesville at Albemarle Square Shopping Center and two locations in Fredericksburg. Now, this special local update. Due to the severity of recent storms, Colonial Auto Center is overstocked and is conducting a special winter clearance sale. Shop the largest selection of cars and trucks in Central Virginia, specially marked with huge discounts. Lease the all-new 2000 V6 Cougar for only $279 a month. This cat is well-equipped, $279 a month. Don't miss this special winter clearance sale. Colonial of an era sale at New York Carpet World. Up to 50% off carpet, 50% off pad, plus no payments and no interest till 2001. It's the end of an era sale at New York Carpet World. It's beautiful country, rich in history and gracious tradition, an academic and cultural atmosphere to link the past, present, and future. In Charlottesville, the Brown Automotive dealerships are also building for the future, building on a 20-year heritage of quality in the products, in the service, and in striving to satisfy your every automotive need. There's a lot to love at the new Brown dealerships on Route 29 and on Pantops. Brown, you love the service. Watch NBC29 for your chance to win a 2000 Isuzu Rodeo. Spend the next decade worry-free with a 10-year, 120,000-mile warranty. What a great way to start a new century. When the snow falls this winter, Storm Team 29 will be there with live reports, up-to-the-minute weather forecast, and all your area closings. Get connected with Storm Team 29. It's an honor only 13 American women have received. They have been named to the all 20th century lacrosse team, and one of them lives and works in central Virginia. Meredith Grobois has her story. Banners, needlepoint, paperweights. Right. Heather Dow's classroom is filled with reminders of her travels as a goalie and coach of the U.S. women's lacrosse team. Just so you know, this is Austria over in here. Dow uses her border knowledge as a geography teacher at Albemarle County's Sutherland Middle School. Step back with your stick up and then make the pass. Let's go. 
after school, she works the fields as an assistant coach for the University of Virginia women's lacrosse team. Good shot, Laura. Good finish. U.S. Lacrosse Magazine recently named Dow goalie of its all 20th century team. What I appreciate is just um, yeah, being mentioned in the same breath as, as some of the great players of the game. Dow played for UVA until 1982. She went on to win gold with the U.S. national team both as a player and a coach. Big defense. Oh, oh. The Newport News native returned to the Cavaliers in 1997. I was really intimidated by her my first year when I came in. She's really tough and uh, very demanding, but I've learned a ton from her. Dow has helped coach this team to the NCAA Finals the last two years running, but they lost to Maryland both years, a loss they'd like to overcome this year. We can't think that you know they're invincible. We can't think we have to play a perfect game against them. A former netminder who knows a goal worth achieving. In Charlottesville, Meredith Grabois, Dateline 29 News. Dow will serve as an assistant coach for the U.S. during the 2001 World Cup. The team will try to defend its title for the third consecutive time UVA starts its season on March 1st. And the Cavalier men are moving in the right direction with last night's win over Clemson. We'll take a look at the highlights next in sports. Plus, we'll tell you how our University of Virginia swimmer is diving into his Olympic dreams. John Havey's up next. You'll always get a lot at Monarchy. Come on. Like quality brake service for Monarchy's great low price. But the stopping power you need, make sure your next stop is Monarchy. At Monarchy, you won't pay a lot, but you'll get a lot. We've made it easier to separate yourself from the crowd with a new Dodge Intrepid with its sleek cab forward design and expansive yet cozy interior. Right now, Intrepid offers 0.9% financing for up to 60 months that could save you over $4,600. In a perfect world, everything would be different. Until then, see the friendly Dodge dealer near you during our President's Week event. A young Navy pilot who volunteered for duty in Vietnam, John McCain was shot down over Hanoi. McCain refused early release from prison where he suffered repeated beatings and was held five and a half years. He returned home just as devoted to his country, taking on the establishment and defying special interests. I'm going to give the government back to you, and I promise you that. Ready to be president and leader of the free world, John McCain. Character. Courage. For president. From pushing Western exploration to forging into space, America's presidents have always had a sense of adventure. So this President's Day, celebrate with an adventurous Jeep vehicle. Get behind the wheel of the powerful and refined Grand Cherokee Laredo. Now you can lease one for only $3.59 a month with $13.58 due at signing, and you'll pay no security deposit. Come celebrate America's spirit of adventure during the Jeep President's Day event. Check one out at your Jeep dealer. Nobody can sell you a new Chevrolet or Oldsmobile for less than Jim Price. Jim Price wants to start something with rebate, discount, finance savings, up to $5,000, plus a $500 GM owner loyalty rebate, financing, as low as 2.9%. Get brand new 2000 Chevy S10 pickups as low as $11,988. Jim Price says we'll be there with hundreds of Silverado and S10 pickups, Chevy Tahoe, Suburban, Astro and Venture Van, and now Oldsmobile, Bravada, and Silhouette. That's Jim Price Chevrolet Old, Route 29 North next to Walmart, where the price is always right. You'll always get a lot at Monarchy. They'll keep you on the right track with quality brake service, shocks and struts, and of course, mufflers. All for that great Monarchy price. At Monarchy, you won't pay a lot, but you'll get a lot. Well, uh, John Havy joins us with sports <laughs> now. Sorry, just wool <laughs> gathering there for a second. Virginia men had a really good win yeah. last night. Good Anytime win. you get a season sweep in the ACC, it's a good thing. Yeah. And that's exactly what the Cavs got. Now, the Virginia men's basketball team, when they faced Clemson the first time around, Will Solomon, the leading scorer in the ACC, put up 43 points against the Cavs, including eight three-pointers. So when the two squads met last night at University Hall, Solomon was definitely a defensive priority for the Hoos. And it turned out the best way to keep Solomon for, for taking over for the Tigers seem to be to just playing get out and run here off Solomon's miss. The Cavs breaking. Donald Hand, the alley oop pass to Adam Hall for the huge finish. Hall finished with 10 points on the night. More running from the Cavs. This time it's 
hand to Chris Williams for the three. Williams with 16 points and seven boards on the night. He is always solid for this team. Then watch the D here. The Who's strip it from Will Solomon, and it's another fast break. Williams gives up to Roger Mason, and I didn't think Roger could finish like that. The big slam dunk. He ended up with 11 points, and then there was Donald Hand. Watch him slash his way to the hole for the tough layup. He led everybody with 21 points and six assists, while Solomon finished with just 13 for the Tigers. UVA gets a 76-62 triumph, their 17th win of the year, but that doesn't mean Coach Gillen has started thinking about a bid to the NCAA tournament quite yet. No, I really haven't thought about that. We just got to try to win as many as we can and just go step by step and, and see what happens. But well, we've certainly got a long way to go, and uh, we're more concerned with, you know, going day by day, getting better. Hey, we got to kill a game. We've never won in the Dean Dome, as you know. So we got, you know, a lot of big bridges to cross before we uh, think of uh, NCAA tournament. Just keep crossing them. Now, Ed Moses, he was a three-sport athlete in high school, and in his senior year, he began focusing on swimming. Well, now, just two years later, there's talk of a trip to Australia for the 2000 Summer Olympics. Gary Cope has the story of one UVA athlete with dreams of making some pretty big waves down under. Uh, I went to Lake Braddock in Fairfax County. In his first year as a collegiate swimmer, he finished second in the nation in both the 100- and 200-yard breaststroke. It's just weird wearing, you know, a, a suit that says USA on it. He earned a spot on the U.S. team and represented his country in last summer's Pan Am Games. I typically do, you know, 11 or 12,000 yards a week. I do an hour of dry land in the mornings, an hour of weights. I'd say five hour, hours of training a day. Non-stop training in his sophomore year has made him even better finishing the regular season without losing a single race. Everyone expects me to do it, and, and I do expect it of myself. Do you know him? All right, it's Ed Moses. Just in case you missed that, he's Ed Moses, and he may be this country's next Olympian. Just how good is Ed Moses? Well, think about this. In 1999, no one in the world held a faster time in the 100-meter breaststroke. And come September, in the time it takes you to watch this sportscast, Mr. Moses could very well be an Olympic gold medalist. Despite all the individual honors and attention, Ed says none of it would be possible without his teammates. I just don't think you could do it on your own. I mean, there'd be times where you'd, you'd let down it and no one could be in your face telling you, you know, there's a reason you're doing this and, you know, I'm trying to do it too. We need each other for it. So it's, it's definitely helpful. I don't think I could do it alone. Ed dominates his events like no one else, often finishing several seconds ahead of second place and in swimming, seconds can be an eternity. Then there's the talk of the Olympics. It's a dream. I mean, to be, I could just picture it just holding, you know, a flag and, and you know, any type of medal and, and having the uh, national anthem, you know, going off before the meet and everything and knowing that you're going to be uh, racing for, you know, an Olympic medal. It's just, you know, hopefully it'll be reality, but right now it's just something that you see on TV. And uh, it's just a feeling that I don't, I don't know how I could explain, but hopefully I'll be able to if I get there. On the campus of UVA, Gary Cope for Dateline 29 Sports. I hope we do see him on TV yeah. wearing that medal. One other quick note, Western Elmore High School football coach John Berlin, he's resigned after just two seasons at the helm of the Warriors. All right, thanks, John. You're welcome. We'll be right back. Hi again, everybody. Time for a live sweepstakes 2000 prize drawing. Now, this is for a $100 shopping spree at Colonial Mall in Stanton. This is a nice bonus prize. I've had 10 of these to give away, and I still have a few more left. This one is going to go to our winner, um, Bonnie McCauley. Bonnie McCauley in Crozet. You have $100 to spend at Colonial Mall in Stanton if you call and claim your prize. There's the number on your screen. Bonnie McCauley in Stanton. We'll be wrapping up this week with more prize drawings tomorrow. And don't forget, we're giving away the big spa on Friday. I work in an operating room, and sometimes it gets pretty hectic. My wife and I are expecting our first child. The last thing I need to worry about is my car. My Elantra comes with a 10-year powertrain warranty. I can rely on it. There are no worries. Get the car Consumer's Digest named a Best Buy with air and power package. Freedom's getting behind the wheel of the car, putting the key in the ignition and going. Drive home the freedom of America's best warranty before our President's Day sale ends February 28th. Go for a new Toyota. Go for a midwinter clearance deal. Go. The biggest midwinter inventories are in stock now. Go for a Camry with 500 cash back from Toyota. Or go with 5.9% APR financing for 36 months. Or go lease your Camry for 36 months for $239 a month with $2,300 do it signing cash or trade. It's a best buy and well equipped. Midwinter clearance at Toyota. Go. Great clearance deals. Go. go see your Toyota dealer now. Now, Wednesday is must see TV on NBC. 
First, on the West Wing, the president's choice for the Supreme Court is in jail. How much is the press now? Edward James almost guest stars. Then, on Law and Order, an illicit affair leads to murder. <laughs> Who did it? Your gun, your motive. Here's a clue. Tom Berenger guest stars. All new Law and Order after the West Wing. Must see TV Wednesday on NBC Tonight. Tonight, will Americans be held hostage again? The high cost of gas and oil. Why don't they release the oil in reserve? Putting the squeeze on America's families. NBC Nightly News tonight. Closed captioning for the Stateline 29 newscast is brought to you through a grant from Wolf and Farmer, attorneys concentrating in Social Security disability cases. New tonight at 11, the prices at the pump are on the rise. Uh, Tara Niren joins us live from our Charlottesville newsroom with more on that. Tara. Well, economists don't expect gas prices to get any lower before summer, and they say gas costs a lot more than it did at this time last year. So we'll take a look at what's causing these high prices and what effect they'll have on the country's economy. That's tonight on Dateline 29 News at 11. All right, Tara, thank you very much. And uh, we have some... Uh, Winter weather headed our way, not tomorrow. Not but. tomorrow, though. Tomorrow should be a fine day, a little cooler, mostly sunny, but then the clouds move in, and Friday's looking more like winter. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Well, NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw starts now. That's it for this edition of Dateline 29 News. Thanks for watching. See you later. Over a barrel. The president offers millions for Americans hit hardest by the high prices for oil and gas. In depth tonight, why it could soon cost $2 a gallon to fill up, a nightmare for families with those popular new gas guzzlers. Countdown to South Carolina, it's getting bitter, and Bush sets new records for spending campaign cash. Can money stop McCain? And the family. Parents obsessed with winning, bad sports, new ways to force them to be good sports. From NBC News World Headquarters in New York, this is NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw. Good evening. While the Republican presidential candidates are duking it out in South Carolina, President Clinton today was doing his own part for the Democrats, including his wife Hillary, running for the U.S. Senate in New York one of the states hard hit by the surge in heating oil and gasoline prices. Today, the president offered some relief, and we begin tonight with NBC's Claire Shipman, who's at the White House. Claire? Tom, in his first news conference of the year, the president grabbed the spotlight by targeting high oil prices and offering some help for families who've been feeling the pinch. Relief for some families suffering from skyrocketing home heating oil costs, $125 million in federal government help, and a request to Congress for more. Americans have always pulled together to help their fellow citizens in times of need. Now the families of the Northeast need our help too, and we must act. And Clinton says the administration is working hard internationally to make a case for lower oil prices. I think the OPEC members understand that, and I think that uh, there is a...